In the last tutorial, we took a look at how you can use the different types of queries with WordPress loops. Now, this time we're going to take a look specifically at query posts and how to use some of the arguments in order to, to uh, define what you want. So here's the sample that I used. It is, um, has query post and it says we're going to have some arguments. So let's just go ahead and take a look real quickly. Now, one of the ver very first things that I do want you to be um, aware of is that you really do need to go to the codex for WordPress to check out how this stuff works. You'll find out lots of great information. For example, this is the page on query posts and it describes in detail how things work. And it also has a lot of different examples of how this can be used. So let's take a look at how it's used in my code. So the very first thing I have here is my very first query post. Now I only have one argument in here, but I do have it as an array and it's just kind of habit, I guess. But there's a lot of examples where you see that they take out this and, uh, and then you have equals four inside that. So you see that a lot, but I like to have more than one. So I usually use an array. So anyway, what I've got here is says an array for this argument is going to be post per, pa per page equals four. Then it runs a loop, which means it's going to query all the posts that we have. And then it's only going to find the top four um, or the most four most recent posts and put those on the page inside this loop. So if I take a look at what that looks like, here we go. This is getting the last four posts for all categories. Now you might remember that we have three news events and three, um, sorry, three news posts and three event posts. So I'm just getting the news because they were the last ones created. And, but I get one event because I'm getting a total of four. Now below here, I just want to get two posts and I just want to get the news. So let's take a look at what we've changed here. Here we have a query post that says array. We're going to get a category name that equals news and we're going to get post per page two. So in this array, I have two different arguments and I'm able to use that to output exactly what I want. Just the two most recent news um, items. In the last one, it says get two posts of an unused category and it says sorry no post match your criteria well this one's a little bit different and here's how it works i'm changing one other thing here i'm also creating an an array um i'm sorry a variable to keep this array so that i don't have to um have query post and have the array inside there kind of separate the two tasks from each other and this is very common in wordpress so i have the array it says category name is unused now, I don't have that category, so what happens is it tries to find that information in the database, can't find it. So when it runs the loop, it says, if you have post, while you have the post, get the post. It says, sorry, that stuff doesn't work. Um, so it ends that condition. And then it says, else, right here, says, hey, we're missing that information. So let's run the else statement that says, I'm sorry, no post match your criteria and that's what we get to output and then we end the if and then we reset the query afterwards so that's a quick example of um, query posts of course you'll find lots of different examples of query posts by finding examples online but the basics um, are pretty much the same and that is that you want to filter out the information that you want or you want to create um, an array for the different items that you are trying to filter your posts for and you use that in order to generate a custom loop. So let's go on to the next tutorial where we take a look at WP Query.